guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing a just style video with you guys, but it's a little different than you might be, I guess, anticipating. So I've tried filming three different just style vlog videos now. Oh, that was way too zoomed in. So if you don't know what gisting is, it's basically this term that I feel like we started using it like a year or two ago where it was just like getting your shit together. You can get your shit together almost every morning. You can get your shit together every day, every week, every month, every year. Um, you can get your shit together anytime. I personally love gisting on Sundays. That's just like gisting to me, getting my shit together for the week. It's like planning out all of the stuff that I need to do, cleaning up, doing a little bit of self care, all of that good stuff. So getting your shit together can be really fun. Today's video, I am doing a little gist night routine vlog with you guys because um, I mean, realistically, I'm kind of having a gist night. Starting with the fact that I'm making dinner, um, and while I do so, I'll cut back to the last two days that I tried gisting. problems and making it feel like we've kind of got our our stuff in line that is why justin can be so fun but i also feel like there's just a lot that they don't tell you about getting your shit together and quickly to clarify i include myself in that day i know that gisting has basically become a mood on my channel so myself included The first thing is that it's impossible to plan it all. I love a good list. I feel like if I'm able to take all of the things that are just rummaging around in my brain and put it down onto a piece of paper, it makes it a lot easier for me to then be like, okay, this is what I need to do. Now start going down the list and checking things off. The only thing is, is that I feel like everything in life can kind of come out of balance when it just becomes too weighted or too serious. And one thing that I definitely am prone to doing is getting so overwhelmed by my lists that I almost forget to start just tackling things off of them. Like I'm so afraid that I'm gonna miss something, that there's something I'm not thinking of, that I'll sit there and like brainstorm and brainstorm and brainstorm rather than just being like, okay, this is what I know right now. There's a lot that I don't know yet, and if there's going to be more to do later, then I'll add to the list as I go, but I have to start getting that momentum going. Like maybe, just maybe, you're getting so stressed out looking at your list that it's making it almost impossible for you to start doing things on your list. And I was like, looking at a huge list of all of these things you need to do is almost worse. I feel like less is more. So take what you know for fact now. Don't think that you're able to plan it all right away and just get to actually do Doing what you need to do rather than planning what you need to do now I'm not saying we don't need lists guys um, I'm not I'm not going crazy I'm just saying that we need to almost utilize the way that we create our to-do lists in a way that support us rather than weighing us down oh god that's been there for like three days now I love a good, like, just a good slab of B-roll, you know? I love a good chunk of well-crafted videography set to good music and when things just look aesthetically pleasing. that person. I love when something looks nice to the eye. I like taking the time to put detail and effort and 
like basically spin things into a mood and when I know that I need to clean I won't just like get up and start cleaning like I'll put on my comfy cleaning sweats and I'll put on a cleaning playlist but the thing is is that it's not always gonna be that way it's not realistic and especially in today's world when we have social media just constantly showing us what having our shit together looks like I feel like one thing that we need to just make known is that it doesn't always look so pretty there are so many parts to gisting that I'm not able to vlog or I could vlog realistically but I just don't want to and I don't think you'd want me to Some stretching. Oh, my armpits are really hairy. I do that. like how much hair I shed and have to sweep up on a weekly basis or you know cleaning just gross caked on dishes I feel like that was a line straight from a commercial but it's true there are some gross things like sorting through recycle and taking out the garbage that are just not Pretty, but it's part of getting your shit together. Getting your shit together isn't always gonna be something that looks fun and pretty and that you can like plan out and have like a dream board for. It's easy to kind of like romanticize the idea of getting back into feeling good again. And I, all I can think about is like in Kung Fu Panda when he's doing his like Kung Fu training and it's just like a crazy montage of him getting better. I think we kind of do that with our minds. We are so fed just B-roll and montages of what a life looks like once it's been condensed and cut down. And again, I do this too and I love doing it, but I just want to make sure that I'm saying this loud for the people in the back. It doesn't actually always look like that. In fact, normally it never looks like that. It's just a visual representation or basically taking an extra little piece of detail or cutting out the parts that maybe people don't want to see. So just know that those parts that people don't want to see still happen. They're still there and we all got to do them and it ain't pretty. Final thing that they slash I don't tell you about getting your shit together is that sometimes to do so you kind of have to let it fall apart. Actually 10.15 and I didn't get to like nearly anything on my gist list honestly. It's putting a lot of pressure on yourself and I think that the pressure that we already have on us on a grand scale in terms of like society all of that, that starts to weigh us down and it starts to weigh our souls down and it starts to make us feel a lot heavier as human beings. And it's something that I've become very aware of recently and it's something that I'm working on for myself, just layering off a lot of the pressure that doesn't actually need to be there, knowing that I don't always have to have my shit together and neither do you. For each and every one of these videos, I started filming, um, I basically tried to multitask, get all these things done, find a way to almost spin them into a story so that I could hopefully put together a vlog for you guys, trying to do way too much at once. So we're gonna try and crunch our gist into a quick, a quick little like, you know in the big comfy couch when she would do the 10 second tidy? I feel like we're doing like the one hour gist. So within the next hour, I wanna try and get some laundry done. I wanna try and clean up a little bit. I wanna try and prep for my day tomorrow. Um, I had a list written down somewhere of some other things I needed to do. I had to let myself fail. I had to let them go. I had to not, you know, feel guilty or feel bad about it, but know that I was doing the best that I could and then to get creative with it, which is exactly what ended up bringing this vlog. And what I share with you guys online is me when I'm feeling happy and is me when I'm feeling motivated solely because that is the energy that I really hope to at least ripple outwards and what I hope to leave behind. When things aren't feeling as, I guess, motivational or when things aren't as optimistic, it doesn't always get seen. And just know that at the end of the day, nobody has their shit together. Even Miley Cyrus doesn't have her shit together. I, I love Miley Cyrus, but I'll use someone else. Um, even, you know, 
Meghan Markle. Even Beyonce. No, you know what? I feel like Beyonce is an exception to the rule. Even Ellen. Ellen doesn't even always have her shit together. I'm sure she gets stressed out at times. Nope, oh, that was way too zoomed in. Hello! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Getting your shit together is not about having your life looking perfect all the time. I think that it's about just making each moment perfect by tapping into the present moment and doing the best you can with exactly where you're at. Okay, heading to Hip Hop Tuesdays, um, spin. Haven't done spin since like the summer, so this should be really interesting. Sometimes that means taking a nap. Sometimes that means, you know, letting things kind of fail and learning your lesson. And sometimes that means like doing laundry, sweeping your floor and putting on a face mask. It's just, there's such a wide spectrum of it. And there's just, there's no way to cover it all. But I hope that this at least made you feel a little better if you've been trying to get your shit together lately and failed a few times because you're not the only one. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's um, vlog of sorts. I just got to see the vlog footage. I didn't want to just get rid of it, but I also felt like there was a message to be said here. So I found a way to incorporate the vlog footage and kind of get the message across. So that was the goal here. So hopefully that worked. And aside from that, I love you guys to the moon and back and I'll see you guys all in next Wednesday's vlog. Bye guys.